All right, Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honors unto Yahweh Bashmi, Al Shah, Bashmi, Kakudash, the honors of the apostles, and the great millstone. Peace and blessed to the whole for elect, Peace to Zion, one with another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And this is an article from uh, ScienceTimes.com. Uh, and this will be an update on the brain chip, all right, which is, uh, according to the scriptures, is indeed the mark of the beast, all right. Uh, now it says, therapeutic, wireless, rechargeable, tiny brain implant can be controlled using smartphone. All right. Uh, let's see here. Now it says, a group of scientists from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology has engineered a tiny brain implant that can be recharged outside of the body. The person can use their smartphone to control the brain circuits for long periods without replacing the battery. Um yeah, so scientists around the world are constantly developing this new uh, technology, um, advancing the, the, the technology when it comes to microchips and, and um, implants and uh, transhumanism as a whole into merging man with machine. You know, you have uh, the Neuralink implant, which is a, a project by um, Elon Musk. But there's, you know, there's other companies out there that are working on the same type of technology, you know? And this is from Korea. Now you just gotta imagine what the future has in store for, for you know, human beings and machines, you know? And people are already having um, implant chips inside them already. You know, it's just a matter of, of the prophecy coming to pass where it's made mandatory. Now, it says Science Daily reported that this new device is made of ultra soft and bio compliant polymers that provide compatibility with the brain tissue, which any outside foreign object is not compatible with the human body. OK, this is why you're supposed to eat, you know, organic foods or whole foods and, and, and mainly put water in water based foods in your body. All right. All this extra technology going inside. That's against the scriptures, man. Okay, uh, but Esau is, is a diabolical fiend. <laughs> you know, he's like a super villain. You know, he he's constantly going against the Lord and he's trying to make the world work for him. Right. So now it says it also comes with LEDs of the same size as the grain of salt, mounted on ultra thin probes to manipulate target neurons in the deep brain using the light. Um, And uh, they've tested out in mice. Um, so this is, you know, basically the the the, the technology that they're working. Um, so it has wireless charging, Bluetooth, low energy microchip, uh, smartphone controls, brain implants. Yeah, so so this is the future of the world, man. You know, whether it's used for medical purposes or recreational purposes, Esau wants to make sure that as long as you're connected to a computer, he controls you. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm I want to read the scripture and get straight to the point. This is uh, Revelation 13. And 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So as technology gets more advanced in, in you know, um, microchip implants, especially when it comes to putting them in the brain, then we can really see this, this coming to pass, man. You know, it's one thing to believe in a philosophy like these other groups are saying the mark of the beast is believing in this world. Well, we've all had the mark. If that's the case, we've all believed it in this society at some point in our lives. But when we got the truth, when you're pursuing the John 8 and 32, it says the, the truth shall make you free. So what is this mark that's going to come in the last days? It's going to um, be put into your foreheads or your right hand. And uh, also it says this, and that no man might buy or sell. So the point of the mark is to have you be able to buy and sell. You can't buy and sell with a belief system. You know, it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So when it comes down to this technology, man, he saw in these other heathen in these different countries are moving forward. And that's really the spirit of the Lord speaking up the time for this prophecy to come to pass, you know. 
So with that, I hope this was edifying. Uh, I'll leave a link to the article. I want to give all praise and glory and honors unto Yahweh by Shemuel and Shai, by Shemuel and Kalkadash, the Lord honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom.